Selected in the second round, 54th overall by the Boston Bruins is Guelph Storm forward Matthew Portra. Matt, congratulations, a huge achievement. How does it feel? Uh, thank you. It's it's uh, very exciting. Um, honestly, it still hasn't fully sank in after a couple of weeks, but uh, yeah, it's super exciting, super happy uh, to hear my name called. So. What was your initial reaction when you heard your name called in the second round? Um, I'd say just, I'm just, just happy. Um, kind of being there with my family, um, not kind of not knowing and sitting in the stands, uh, you know, kind of waiting. And then finally hearing my name get called, I was just super excited. Um, hugging all my family, walked down. It was kind of a blur, but yeah. For sure. Who was there with you that day? You mentioned your family. Was it a big crowd, just the tight knit family or what was it? Uh, more like immediate family. My, my brother, my sister, both my parents, my grandparents and my uncle were there with me. So, yeah. You mentioned it was, it's still a bit of a surreal, it's still a bit of a surreal feeling. Was it kind of a weight lifted off your shoulder to finally hear your name get called knowing that all of the hard work that you've been putting in for the past years is finally paying off for you? Uh, yeah. Um, you know, this year was a really stressful year for hockey, um, for all kind of the draft eligible guys, I'm sure. Um, so definitely kind of getting to the end of the road was a, a big weight lift on the shoulders, but you know, the work doesn't stop now kind of going into next year. Um, want to keep playing well, want to perform in Guelph and um, hopefully have a good team next year and compete. So I saw you were able to attend Boston's development camp last week. What was that experience like getting to go to the city, meet some of the other guys, as well as actually train in an NHL, in an NHL facility? Um, it was super cool kind of getting down to Boston um, kind of seeing how things are done out there, going to the practice ring, getting a tour of the garden, everything was super cool. Um, kind of seeing what it's like at the pro level. Um, some of the pro guys at the development camp, kind of seeing the way they go about things was super cool and kind of eye opening for me. Um, uh, it kind of tells me where I need to maybe improve my game off the A's or on the ice. So. Um, great experience. I had a lot of fun meeting all the guys, so it's a good time. Did you enjoy the city of Boston? Uh, we didn't really get to see it too much. We did some rowing. Um, we went down to this place called the Tall Ship. Um, what I've seen so far, it's a great city. So, yeah. No pizza then in Boston for you? <laughs> no, no, I didn't go for any pizza. <laughs> um, looking forward what part of your game are you hoping to bring to Boston? Um, for me, it's just, I kind of combine a, a skilled, competitive, hardworking type of game. Um, this summer, I've been really working on my skating, uh, being more explosive and just getting like, stronger overall in the gym and on the ice. So uh, just bringing a hardworking, competitive side, a relentless effort really is what I'm trying to bring in. Working on my skating, I think, will really help me progress my game to the next level, hopefully. And for those fans and everyone out there who's looking out for you, how would you describe yourself as a player on the ice? I think just a guy, an offensive-minded, uh, smart type of player, has a good hockey sense. Um, for me, I kind of also pride myself on being able to win stick battles and possessing the puck. So um, just a hard, skilled player. Uh, hard to play against forwards, so. Finally, as you head into the rest of the off season, you have a bit of time here. What are you most looking forward to improving on heading into preseason training with not only the Storm, but possibly the Bruins as well? Um, I'm just gonna keep getting in the gym, get on the ice, work on my skating, work on just overall strength for me as kind of a smaller guy. I just wanna put on a few pounds and be kind of bigger and stronger going into camp. Now I'm excited to get back to Guelph and get to work with all the boys and hopefully all the work in the summer pays off. So. Well, Matt, congratulations again. I wish you the best of luck next season. Thank you.